so hello everyone so this is our 37th video of our youtube video series and in this video we will discuss about how we can show our company projects as well as job on our freelancer homepage so whenever the freelancer log in their account they will able to see the company jobs as well as projects on their homepage and similar thing we will do on our company interface also so whenever the company log in the freelancer list will show on their homepage okay so this is our last video of our entire video series based on the spring mvc and before the five months we started this series and because of some reasons uh, actually we are completing the, this series very late okay so i am really apologize for that but now finally this series is completed and we will soon start the uh, next series which is based on a springboard technology okay so let's start this video so here you can see i just already run my project which is project plus and this is our home page so whenever you can see here whenever i am just logging to my freelancer account okay so this is my freelancer account and i'm just logging click on enter whenever i'm just logging to my account there is a nothing showing on a home page which is currently based on the jobs or project here you can see this is a view more buttons only two buttons are showing and other UI is showing here about the company, the total uh, count of freelancer and job listing, which we already discussed in our previous video. Now our task is that we have to show here the proper job listings as well as the project listings here. So how we can show that? We already show in explore job, here you can see this explore jobs and here we already show that. But similar kind of things we have to also show on our this home page. So whenever the freelancer login on this account they can able to see here the job listings and directly from here they can view on that particular job okay so for that we have to come to our project here you can see i just already come to my projects and you have to come to our freelancer controller here you can see this is our freelancer controller mapping and this is the mapping for a home page okay so you have to come to our mapping for a home page and here you have to just simply declare the method by the help of that matter, they can easily show that particular data there. Okay, so pd dot get uh, jobs info. Okay, you have to declare this method and put on the semicolon. And hover on the hover on that particular method and create method in a jobs into in a project doc. Now you have to change the return type that is the list to void to list list and you have to declare here as a show jobs okay so we already uh, show that particular jobs on different page so here you can see this is our show job class on that class we already uh, declare the attributes and by the help of that attributes we can easily show the data here to show jobs here you can see i just declared the method now we have to write here as a return okay so return t1 not query and here we have to simply declare that method that method which uh, collect this all data and show on that particular page so we already declared that method before uh, doing that particular job so here you can see you just need to come to project down on upper side and you can see here i, I just show you uh, there is a method of the show projects and there is a method of the job info so we just need to copy that query and similar query we need in this particular task so i just copied this particular query from here and just come below and i have to paste this query on here okay so i just successfully paste this query here we have to add the semicolon here double semicolon and at the last we have to also add semicolon there is already have now we have to write it as a new row mapper in that row mapper we have to write show jobs then these brackets then curly braces then semicolon now we have to click on enter in between that particular query uh, uh, that particular brackets and now we have to write here as a add unimplemented method we have to hover on a row mapper and add unimplemented method here you can see the unimplemented executed successfully now we have to remove this and we already discussed or we already declared that attribute on that particular query now we just need to copy that attributes from there here you can see there is a show jobs object and this uh, show jobs objects has all kind of data that we need to show on our home company freelancer home page okay so this is uh, thing is done now 
written S1, which means that written S1, S1 has all the kind of data that we need to show on our company uh, freelancer homepage. Okay. Now just uh, we just near come to our freelancer uh, controller again. Here you can see freelancer controller, and we have to take this entire thing into one list. So I'm just writing as a list. Uh, show jobs. I'm just writing a show jobs data data equal to this uh, entire thing. Okay. So show job data now uh, all of the value. Now with the help of mm model mm which is model map mm dot add attribute add attribute is a method which uh, store our data like a buffer and with the help of that thing we can easily show that data so add attribute now we have to pass here that to one key and one value so value is already coming showed uh, jobs data now we have to declare here one key so key is that um, uh, jobs info okay info now just only thing we have to do, we have to copy this key from here and come to our uh, home freelancer. Okay, there is a page called as a home freelancer. Here you can see the home freelancer. You have to come here and you have to come this section on here. Here you can see view more uh, below of the best experience freelancer. Okay, we have to uh, see that here you can see uh, best experience freelancer. And now here you can see in my previous code project, I just already apply here the for each loop. Now I think that you you should you get the basic idea of how you can apply the for each loop. Now I'm not starting from the basics. I just paste my key here, and now we can easily show the data. Here you can see the for each loop starting from here items, and we have to paste our key, and with the help of E, we can easily show that data on there. Okay. Now here you can see. This is the value we are we have to show the profile C which is company profile company name which is company name then position which kind of position the company posted there the skills the uh, three four things we have to show here now we have to cross check this value is similar like our value name or not so we have to come to our project down and here you can see profile C company name position and skills so we have to set that value according to this value okay so profile C company name and I think you are able to understand that things. Now see this is value is showing here or not. Here you can see there is a nothing uh, kind of job listing showing here. So I am just refreshing this page from here. And let's see it is showing or not. Now here you can see our job listings is now successfully showing here that it take my data consultancy, repro technologies, etc. Okay. So whenever I am just click on a refresh button, here you can see this is the sequence. Whenever I am just click on a refresh button, Here you can see the sequence is successfully changed. Take my data come to the below. And dogs come to one number. So this kind of things we done in this uh, process. Okay. Now similar kind of things we have to also apply in our project. So for that you have to come to our uh, this kind of mapping also where is the uh, freelancer control. Here you can see similar kind of things we have to do here. We have to add here as a PD which is product down. Get project info info okay now we have to uh, uh, have our honored meter create meter in a project down okay we have to return list uh, post projects okay now similar kind of things we have to return the t1 from here so return t1 dot query okay now we have to simply write here as a select star from uh, post projects Okay, select star from post project. Similar kind of things we have to mention here that is new pro mapper. Now we have to put here the this uh, less than greater than greater than that is in that we have to write our post project last name post projects. Now we have to apply here the brackets, then curly braces. Okay, then semicolon. And we have to uh, click uh, in between the curly braces. We have to click on enter. Then our on this particular uh, method add unimplemented method. The unimplemented method is successfully executed here. Now we have to simply set and get that particular value from here. So for that we already show that value on our po uh, show project things. So here you can see we just need to copy these values from here. I just copy it from here. So our time will be saved. And I'm just pasting here. Okay. Here you can see so P1 has all kind of data that we need 
to show on our particular page you have to come to our freelancer controller again you have to get this entire thing into one list so list uh post projects and then show uh project data okay so show project data equal to this all kind of thing and with the help of model map we can easily show that value so mm dot add attribute so here you can see the keys or values automatically come we have to only discuss one thing is that that is key so key is equal to a project info now we have to declare here as a comma okay don't forget that now the only thing we need we just need the key from here we have to again come to our home freelancer here you can see and below of that here you can see this is for the projects now we have to simply put here that key and here you can see you just need to cross check this value project tt which is project title project c name is company name that post by the uh, project project else which means the required skills for that particular project so you just need to verify that in from project doc so here you can see project tt c name which is company name i already uh, told you that thing and project is and project pdf okay now see it is showing or not we have to uh, come to again home freelancer and see if it is showing or not i am just refreshing this page from here okay and now here you can see the project information is also successfully coming here that is ai chatbot home center india music application automated inventory management system so the, our first task is now successfully completed here now whenever the freelancer log in their account on our portal they will uh, able to see the latest jobs opening as well as the projects opening on our directly on our home page and uh, if they don't want to uh, see on home page they can click on view more and they will uh, redirect on explore jobs page so here you can see from here they can also apply for that particular jobs okay so these things we are already done okay so this is all about today's video in this video we will we will discuss about how we can show our uh, company job listings company project listing on a freelancer homepage and if you wish you can show the similar kind of things on our company homepage also you can show the freelancer profile on company homepage whenever the company login okay so this is the last video of our this entire spring mvc uh, series and this series end here okay i just uh, i just show you in our first video that i will bring the web uh, web series for you for uh, spring mvc i i just fulfill my promise here okay so this spring mvc playlist is now officially ends here and as soon as possible we will start our next series okay so thank you so much for watching this video we will see you next video thank you so much okay so this is all about today's video in this video we will discuss about this thing this things is this so this video will uh, abe sale